Well, and, and one of the things I, I've also tried to teach my teachers is, as a child, you're better off being bad than stupid. Ooh. So let's say you can't read because you can't see. Okay. So when it comes around to your turn to read, you slap the kid beside you. We yes. send you out of the classroom. Nobody knows you can't read. They just think you're a bad kid. You're a bad kid. And, and that's a better Johnny over that's there. a better place to be. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, <clears throat> that's unfortunate. It has to go that way. But that's kind of where we are. That, I mean, it's kind it of is. you know they're adapting. You know they're trying yeah, to. Learn. But, they're just adapting. You know, and we were talking about hearing loss and that. But again, when you have kids with receptive language disorders, okay, their hearing's fine. We can give them all the hearing tests in the world. Their hearing's just fine. But what they're hearing, they can't process. Right. So, so when you give them the directions, and... it's going nowhere. Wow. Okay. And so then okay. we think again, we've got a bad kid here. Yeah. We tell him what to do. Here's your assignment. You need to do this. And then he ignores you or does something else. Yeah. And they can't say, wait, I have a disability well, that's interfering no, with my no, processing. Because they don't know. Because <laughs> right. remember... When you're born with that, that's always normal to you. That's normal. Yeah. That's what is normal. Because you, you weren't all of a sudden, you had receptive uh, abilities, and then the next day you didn't. It's You just never have. All right, let me ask you a question about this. We've been going along here a little bit, and we, we sort of touched on it a little bit with the hearing aids and so forth, but let's talk technology for just okay. a second. Okay. What, what's your idea uh, and thoughts okay. about... Okay this uh ever increasing technology advancement that we're we're making you, do you are you one of those that holds out hope that hey this technology is going to solve a bunch of these problems and make us smarter and easier to uh to to uh, work with and we're going to have a better existence um are you doubtful what where are you with these things that we've been talking about and this flow and ever increasing advancement in technology We've seen so many things with technology that have worked so well with kids right. and people to, to improve their lives. Right. So there's been so many, but I think we have to also look at your brain and my brain okay. that lives in total darkness and in total silence inside okay. your head. Okay, there it is. And it is. Yeah. And the only way you pick up information is electrical impulses that come in from our senses. Yep. Okay. So this, this blob of material <laughs> floating in your head yes, in total darkness. Yep. And what if the inputs, there's a problem? So mm. let's look at vision. Let's say you're not getting the inputs from your eyes. We call that being blind. What if we can change that so we can use a different input, send in the electrical signals, and you can see? We yes. would have to train your brain what these are, but we already have to. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. if you were blind and we gave you an eye transplant. Right. And all of a sudden you could see your brain has to be trained to deal with your that. Your brain doesn't recognize it as all of a sudden what everything is this? That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and they found the same thing with, with people that are deaf and they do cochlear implants. Mm -hmm. They go in and they put these on their head and they're sending electrical impulses into the brain doesn't know what that is it's all noise right 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 so your brain has to learn that's interesting and we have idea. to train your and and the whole concept is just fascinating yes it, it and, really and, is and, and there's a great book that talks about that that call that's called the secret life of your brain oh okay and, and it talks about your brain getting impulses and how they've actually been able to teach people to see using alternative input devices your tongue being able to see because the electrical impulses from the tongue they've been able to put something in your mouth so you can see all right now that's that's for out that's there. getting out yeah there. that's, but, a, that's but getting it, it's out like there. the notion you'd invent a small camera and mm -hmm. what it would send is electrical signals to your brain so you'd have something you'd maybe wear on your head or, okay or on, but it would give you the ability to see right right so that's on the horizon right there. It I mean, should, that, should, well, you sound yeah. like a you sound like a futurist a little bit here, my friend. You sound like <laughs> you're a proponent for technology. Um, although I've heard you say some other things about technology, we have to come back. I have to pull up the video <laughs> here. To, would I to admit to being a luddite? You mean that one? <laughs> but no, with things like this, I mean, it's wide open what we could do to help people. That is that is that is really you know with vision loss, with hearing loss, with right. you know, and we've done things with people that have speech uh, problems. You know, the inability sure. to communicate. You know, we have 
devices they can right. type out you know we can do a lot more that way right. um, when we can make the jump electronically when thoughts from your brain can go right on the screen oh yeah 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 sure and that's coming because right now we're, we're learning to fly jets using our brain just the electrical impulses from our brain. We're learning. We're teaching fighter pilots how to fly jets that way. Wow. So if we could take that technology, yeah, and we yeah. could use that, so we could manufacture speech or whatever. Sure, we could take it that much further. So yeah, well, there's a lot we can do.